Hello, my name is Hannah, and this is my revert story. I reverted to Islam in June of 2020. I am from the United States, from the state of Arizona. I have two daughters and a grandson. Before I became a Muslim, I was raised in a very strict religious home of Jehovah's Witnesses from the age of seven onward. At age 14, I was baptized as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and this is where I learned about Islam. Jehovah's Witnesses uh, have a publication that they use when they go door to door to talk to people called Reasoning from the Scriptures. And in that publication, it had one of the topics, what will you say to a Muslim? In there, I learned that Allah is the only true God. They do not believe in the Trinity. They believe that Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet, as well as about a heavenly paradise. Also, I was raised to not celebrate the holidays, and I knew that Muslims did not celebrate the holidays. When I was 18, I left the religion. I was disfellowshipped or excommunicated and shunned from the organization and from my family. During this time, I went on my own. I had befriended Muslims, but I never asked questions. Then 15 years ago, I moved to San Diego, California, and I lived in a community of Syrians and Iraqis, both Muslim and Christians. And I would see the men run across the street to the mosque to pray. And I was always fascinated about um, the Muslims praying in unification and prostrating themselves to the Creator. I tried going back to my religion two other times, but it all failed. I still felt like I was missing something. I was spiritually lost. Uh, the reason why I left permanently four years ago my religion again was because they were not helping me. And I still felt like I was missing something spiritually. Um, I had asked for help from the church and instead they excommunicated me again. So I was very lost spiritually and I was feeling unworthy of God and feeling like that I couldn't live up to his expectations um, because I kept sinning. And I fell into a really bad depression with severe anxiety. My whole life was falling apart. I ended up homeless and living at the Salvation Army. During this time, I kept praying and praying for guidance and for God to show me some kind of direction to lead me to the truth. So Allah answers prayers when he feels that they need to be answered because life is supposed to be full of lessons that he gives us. So last year I met an Egyptian Muslim and I started asking questions uh, and he would send me videos on Dr. Zakir Nail about uh, the questions on Jesus and about Prophet Muhammad and I was just very taken back by with what I was learning because I learned so much as a Jehovah's Witness studying the Bible for 29 years of all that Bible education that just went down the drain and it was full of inaccuracies and untruths and that Jehovah's Witnesses were the true religion. So I ended up contacting Ask a Muslim afterwards and I started um, communicating with a young brother from Ask a Muslim. And we were debating back and forth. I brought out my Bible and started bringing out these scriptures about Jesus and about Prophet Muhammad. And he had a rebuttal and debate for everything that I was showing him. And he proved everything that I learned in 29 years wrong. And it just shows that everything that you are taught is not always right. And when he showed me about Prophet Muhammad being the last messenger and showed me those scriptures and about the cave, Hira, and you know some other things, I knew right then that Islam was the truth. And I am very thankful that that brother showed me and reasoned with me on those things. Then in June, I made a silent declaration just between a personal declaration of my Shahada with Allah. Then uh, followed 
a few days after with that young brother on Ask a Muslim, and I did my Shahada with him. And then three days later, I did the Shahada with a Quran study group of sisters from Arizona on Zoom because I wanted to make a public declaration because that's what I'm used to is a public declaration. So I did that, but here's the kicker. I had COVID and I was very, very sick and it was just a coincidence. I did not want to miss this opportunity, so I did my Shahada while I was sick. Fast forward nine months later. I am the happiest and most content and peace with myself than I have ever been in my entire life. And Allah has blessed me in so many ways. In September of last year, I moved to Egypt. It's my childhood dream. And also, I wanted to connect with Allah on a spiritual level. And this is why I came here. And uh, since I've been here, I have been blessed uh, with uh, my business growing. Um, I started a business here. I've also been able to volunteer my time with an orphanage here, which has always been a dream of mine. I've also had uh, made special relationships with Muslims here. Uh, I have a very special friendship with someone who taught me how to pray. And I have finally mastered the five daily prayers. I love listening to the call of prayer all, all day long. Uh, Ramadan is coming up and I'm excited to um, experience my first Ramadan and to feel the spirit in the air and um, the spiritual connection because this is the time of year where we are supposed to really connect with Allah and I'm looking forward to that. Now I don't know everything. Um, I'm still new. Rome wasn't built in a day. Alhamdulillah. And uh, I have to be patient, just like Allah is patient with me. Um, my advice for those that um, are searching, if you are feeling really spiritually lost, um, like you don't feel like you belong anywhere, or you feel unworthy of God's love because of your sins, uh, just know that Islam is the answer because it brings you to the purest form of worship to Allah. And embracing Islam is embracing Allah. And you find your home here. And subhanAllah, I am home. Islam has made me the happiest. And I owe it all to Allah.